Welcome back guys. In this video, we will start learning what is AI, the hierarchy of the AI, and the relationship between AI and machine learning and deep learning. And uh, we also introduced uh, some applications of AI and uh, the three directions and the speech signals processing and the computer vision and also we will introduce the, uh, the natural language processing. At last, we will introduce the, some core ideas of machine learning, uh, transfer learning and deep learning. Uh, let's get a quick start with the first part, the what is AI? AI is technical science. The purpose of AI is to make machine more intelligent, more efficient. AI has become interdisciplinary a course that involves the various fields, such as computer science, brain science, cognitive science, psychology, linguistics, logic, philosophy. AI has come into every field in our daily life. Let's see the hierarchy of AI. The bottom is infrastructure layer, as AI develops the infrastructure development is times greatly promoted the evolution of algorithms and technologies. Computer grew up in the 1970s and gained the popularity in 1980s. The 1990s witnessed the environment of computers computing speed and uh, storage capability, as well as rise to the internet. All this contributes a lot to the AI development. In the 21st century, the emergency of larger scale clusters and big data, GPU, and powerful chips enhance the computing power. These are basements of AI. As a result, deep learning came into being, pushing AI to a new height. Mass training data is an important driving force for the development of AI. And the second layer is algorithm layer. Machine learning uses algorithm to teach computer to obtain information from data like human beings. Deep learning as a subset of machine learning uses more parameters and a complex models. This enables the models more intelligent and to better understand the data. The upper layer is technology directions, computer vision, speech processing, natural language processing, planning and decision making system, and big data statistical analysis. Among these technology directions, computer vision develops more faster and much more mature. In 1966, Mamiski and AI scientist asked his students to write uh, a program. They want to attach uh, a camera to computer and having it describe what it saw. This is the earliest describe of the computer vision task. In the main technology direction, there are more important technologies such as computer vision, there are image recognition and image processing, for speech processing, there are video recognition, speech recognition. This technology has been applied to financial fields, healthcare, security, traffic, games. These technologies are developing very fast, make machine more and more intelligent. At the beginning, Machine only have the little awareness and uh, do data analysis. And now the machine can understand, think, make decisions and interact with others. Implementment of this function depends on machine learning and deep learning. So what's the relationship between AI, machine learning and deep learning? As we all know, AI is an interdisciplinary course. It includes four elements, data, algorithm, computing power, scenario. Machine learning and deep learning are a core algorithm implement AI functions. From 1980s, machine learning began to flourish. Deep learning as a subset of the machine learning 
breakthrough Java AI boom from 2010 with the big data times coming. Today, the development of AI has broken through a certain stories. Today, AI improved the performance and efficiency in different virtual ways. The accuracy of computer vision, speech recognition, and NLP is also improved. AI application theories greatly play an important role in the real business world. Driverless car using computer vision can help drivers control the car. That will reduce the much pleasure of the drivers. In smart home, you can control robot to do much housework, makes you feel more comfortable and happiness in your home. Virtual reality, AI groundbreaking advances are made in the realms of AI and VR. Many are speculating on how these technologies will reshape the both everyday living and the way business operate. For example, these technologies can help us move past uh, attract homes and uh, find ways to build homes in a more customized, uh, arrivals way based on personal budget and uh, situations. That also may help us to solve the housing crisis. Artificial intelligence and visual reality combined will revolutionize education through images and personal learning. We will already seen this for special training and over the next few decades it will break into cover core key ratings and master's level education. Artificial intelligence is arguably the most exciting field in robotics. Robotics is are nowhere near achieving this level of artificial intelligence, but they have made a lot of progress with more limited of AI. Today's AI machine can relocate some specific elements of intelligence ability. Computers can already solve the problems in limited realm. Some modern uh, robots also have the ability to learn in a limited capability. Some modern robots also have the ability to learn in a limited capability. Some robots can interact uh, societally. Case match, a robot can recognize the human body language and voice influencing and respond appropriately. In any case, robots will certainly play a large role in our daily lives in the future. In the coming decades, robots will gradually move out of industrial and uh, scientific worlds and into our daily lives. The Smart Financial Advisor is a must-have guide for advisors. Artificial intelligence will change how medicine is developed, how diseases are diagnosed. To continue to speed the transformation, we need greater arrival ability of data, balanced regular and public education that will enhance health care. These signals are mainly realized by three core technologies, speech signal processing, computer vision, and NLP. Firstly, let's see speech signals processing. It includes many technologies such as signal processing, semantics recognition, speech recognition, and speech syntax uh, synthesis. Signal processing human speech detection, echo ca calculation, and wake up word recognition. Speech recognition and encode future extraction models, adaptation language model, and semantic recognition and dialogue manage, and uh, is encode uh, uh, some scope of NLP. Speech synthesis includes the test analysis, linguist analysis, speech length estimation, vocal parameters predictions. We can apply these technologies on a dictation, speech dictation, and voice operating computer systems, phones, customer services. In the future, although it developed very fast, there is a long way to go before machines can communicate naturally with people like human beings. Computer vision deals with how computers can be made to identify objects, things, and activities from images. 
encoding, image processing, recognition, detecting, analysis, and understanding. Let's see some computer vision applications. Medical image analysis. It is used to facilitate disease prediction, diagnosis, and treatment. Identify the suspects in security and uh, surveillance fields. Shopping goers can take photos of products with smartphones and to obtain more information. Computer vision is a path to enter an advanced stage of independent understanding and analysis, decision making, truly indoors machine with the ability to watch and play a big role in scenario, such as driverless cars and smartphones. NLP mainly involves the knowledge acquisitions and expressions, natural language understanding, and uh, natural language generations. There are also researchers on knowledge graphs, dialogue management, and machine translations. Let's see its applications. Search engines such as the Google, dialogue robots, machine translation, college interest examination robots, intelligent office, secretary. Machine learning is the core of the AI and the fundamental way to make the computer intelligent. It studies how computer simulates and emulated human learning's behavior to acquire the new knowledge or skills, and uh, recognize the existing knowledge structure to improve their performance con continually. And now machine learning is widely used in vertical fields such as the financial law and the health fields. For calculating its loss function, from convert the optimizations to non convert optimization, it uh, also developed from the supervised learning to unsupervised learning and uh, reinforced learning. In the future, reinforced learning and transfer learning solved more com uh, complex problems. And uh, traditional learnings that can be uh, divided into supervised learning and unsupervised learning, as I told you uh, just now. And uh, unsupervised learning is a new uh, human interface in unsupervised learning, and the robot can learn data and sum up by himself. And uh, supervised learning, there are real answers to judge the performance of the models like uh, students learning new knowledge and answer the questions, and the teacher tells the students the answer is right or not. Informed uh, learning is administered to effective simulation environments that uh, interest the uh, real world and the teacher models by the continuous training and the action simulation and the feedback receiving. And reinforced learning is a feedback system and it can be modified at any time. For example, if students perform well, we reward them with the ice cream. If not, we punch them and beat them with the kaju. And that's the, the big kaju, and if they promise the well. Transfer learning is also the technology trend. Traditional machine learning just can use the one models and uh, uh, to solve the one model because it, it uh, uses uh, data and the different data can use the different models and its learning systems and learning systems and to solve the different tasks. And the transfer learning can train the models on the one task is the repurposed on the second related task. So the transfer learning is the improvement of learning in the new task through the transfer the knowledge from the related uh, task. That's uh, if uh, we summarize the knowledge and uh, then to summarize the, the learning systems and uh, to get uh, more information about uh, the new data. Transfer learning is popular in deep learning, and deep learning gives the emerging resources to train models or the large and challenge data sets. And uh, the transfer learning only works in deep learning if the model features learned from the first task are general. In transfer learning, we first uh, train a based network on the based uh, dataset and tasks such as dialogue, diagnose, test, 
and then we repurpose the learning the features and transfer them and to the second packet and if the we learn the uh, the diagonal line nodes and we transfer the diagonal line width to the face node and uh, then this the nodes will connect it and uh, also this the node is the cat node and uh, use the transfer learnings and uh, we just uh, use the, the one models to do the mutase test that's the transfer uh, learnings uh, core ideas and uh, we use the many layers uh, many hiding layers as a neural networks that's uh, a based uh, scratch of deep learning uh, algorithms and uh, deep learning deal with uh, image recognition, speech recognition, and machine translation with AI having the same or even better recognition abilities. And uh, under these conditions such as knowing environment, clear objects, and uh, prediction actions, these abilities are applied in many scenarios like uh, healthcare and public safety, but are still weak in the inference and judgment and cognition. We can't wait to extend the human intelligence and use it. As long as it does better than human, we can use it and because it can improve our work efficiency, life quality, so we can use it now and it can save our lost time and help us to do many work. Okay, till now we have learned the development of AI and uh, we have noticed there some information about AI application. We also noticed uh, uh, some the core uh, technologies and uh, machine learnings and deep learnings. And in next video we will talk about uh, uh, something about uh, AI philosophy. Okay, let's see you uh, in the next video and uh, thank you for your watching. Bye.